Former racist people what changed your opinion? I was raised in a really small, rural town, so it was casual racism constantly. I fell into the rhetoric, unfortunately. What changed me? Just living and traveling and listening and trying to understand. This applies for other views as well. Traveling and just listening can really open your eyes to a lot of things and on so many levels. Take care of yourselves, folks. Travel is fatal to prejudice, bigotry, and narrow-mindedness. Mark Twain. Not sure this counts, but I went from living in a hyper-religious and extremely intolerant and completely white environment, to living in a county where I was the foreigner and received quite a bit of abuse for it. Swore I would never be that kind of person. I'm a Hindu and in India Hindus and Muslims have little bit of beef in between. There was a new student in class Muslim, my bench mate was absent that day teacher made him sit on my bench with me and said no one will change their places time passes small talk common interests good friends. Lol, beef, pun intended? Yes. I grew up as one of the only white people in a predominantly black area, my parents drilled into me that they hate me just because I'm white and to fear them. And at the time they weren't necessarily wrong, because many of those kids were being told the same thing about me at home. I just learned from experience it isn't true, I made many friends that I still love dearly and I wish neither of us had this mindset drilled into us. Yeah, it's true, a lot of black kids are told growing up that white people want to bring back slavery. At least that was the case at my ghetto ass school. My mom and family never really said that, though some did and still do believe that's what Republicans want, lol. I remember when there was a white kid in my classroom for the first time in elementary. He ended being my best friend that year. A lot of the other kids were mean to him just because he was white, pretty sure he's still white. But you wanna know two funny things? One, they'd make fun of darker skinned black kids all the time. Colorism is super deep in the black community. Two, the teacher was white and no one had a problem with her. So they couldn't even apply their hatred evenly. His family moved across the country and I never saw him again. This was back in the 90s, so there were no emails or anything to exchange. In middle school there were more white kids, so things calmed down a bit as far as I could tell. Maybe it was Payopal growing up or maybe a combination of things, like just being around other types of people. I've noticed that the more people are around others, the less goofy they are. The racist white people I've encountered tend to be the isolated types in echo chambers. Meanwhile, the rednecks who are always around different people are some of the nicest people you can meet. It's so sad how on both spectrums we were told this at home. Neither of us ever actually hated the other we were just taught to fear each other. As an adult now, every black woman I've ever had the pleasure of being friends with have been the most ride or die loving women I've ever met. I wish I didn't deprive myself of those connections as a kid out of fear. In grade 5, I learned about the Holocaust and saw a film showing how a typical Jewish family experienced it from beginning to end. Let's just say the ending left me mortified. And through listening to how adults and even celebrities portray themselves in public, I started accepting the fact that all races have good and bad apples but the bad apples need to own up to their bigotry and learn to live with one another. Enough excuses. Edit. Thank you for the upvotes and awards. To give better context, I became more interested in social studies after grade 5 because I wanted to learn more about other cultures and races. I just became more open-minded and decided to treat others how I like to be treated rather than because someone knew better. Definitely was a working progress and got corrected on a lot on racist remarks over the years. Still learning now but I got a good family and friend group. Think I turned out alright? I know we all live in turbulent times but please do take the time to take care of one another. We are all in this together and I know we can all pull through. Humanity has survived up until now, right? Not me but my dad's story. In the 1970s my dad was in elementary school said he had always thought African Americans were just different. So one day he's standing in line, and there was two African American brothers standing behind my dad when my dad turns to the younger brother and calls him a racist term, I don't remember which one. The older brother turns to my dad winds up and punches him straight in the face. He said he was bleeding, it hurt like hell, and he was crying but ever since that day he knew they were just like everyone else because that's exactly what he would have done. Mother Fur literally punched the racism out of him. As soon as I was old enough to realize all my favorite foods were not American. Eye-opening. A few years ago I was visiting Phoenix and had a super racist Uber driver who railed on Mexicans and in the same breath pointed out his favorite Mexican restaurant as we drove past and recommended it to me. 
my education growing up was fairly conservative and my neighborhood lacked diversity. When I went to college, I met a ton of people who were different from me but just as human. My uncle by marriage grew up with racist parents, but one day when he was 20 IIRC, he fell asleep at the wheel after working a double shift and rolled off the side of the road into a ditch late one night. It was a country road in nowhere upstate New York and the only other person on the road at the time was a Puerto Rican man also getting off work. Pulled him from the car and drove to the nearest gas station to use the pay phone way before cell phones existed. My uncle survived thanks to that man. His car caught fire shortly after. My uncle was so touched by this man's kindness he vowed to help the man as much as could. Until my uncle's death from cancer in 2013 they remained friends. I remember hearing the story during Thanksgiving one year when I was younger and not really understanding what racism was. I'm 63. When I was a teenager, one of my older relatives told me his story. He was in his late 70s or early 80s at this time. Nine bikes, I never grew up with any black people or gay people, but somehow I had kind of a negative opinion of them. A few years ago, I had surgery and they didn't think I was going to make it. I spent several weeks in the hospital. The nurse who took care of me was a gay black man. He was a very skilled nurse and as I got to know him, I realized he was probably the most caring and compassionate person I've ever met. I'm here today only because of the care he provided for me. I don't know what I had against the blacks and the gays, I didn't even know any. I grew up in a family that was extremely racist towards African Americans. Especially they would always rant about how AA customers at their jobs are always rude and too lazy to clean up after themselves. After I got a job myself, I realized that it seems like every races are the same. Some are rude, some are lazy, most people are nice regardless of the color of their skin. I just find it unfair how my parents specifically targeted AA people I've experienced just about the same about of rudeness and laziness from the other races. I grew up in a town where other races were practically a theoretical concept. I then went to college and realized we are all just people and suck equally. This isn't the most dramatic answer, but probably the most common. Not many people are intentionally racist. I went to school in the white area of town. As an adult, my co-workers were more diverse. Grew up dirt poor with a single parent as a white kid in an area with a large black middle and upper middle class. Got bullied a lot in school for being poor. Had a teacher tell me once that she couldn't believe I didn't have reliable internet access at home because I was white. I literally thought the racial wealth gap was reversed and that the cause of this was public spending until I was like 16. Getting a ton of scholarships and then being able to move for college opened my eyes real quick. I don't think I was ever racist, but as a little kid I was scared of other races. Probably because they weren't very common in my life. It didn't come from a place of hatred though. But then I watched the first Pokemon movie and Meowth said something I've always remembered. We do have a lot in common. The same earth, the same air, the same sky. Maybe if we started looking at what's the same instead of what's different. Well, who knows. And since that moment, I stopped being scared of other races. It's true as well, we should stop looking at what is different and start looking at what's the same. However, I will say that the differences in people, culture, so forth, is something to be celebrated as well. Edit. I greatly appreciate all of the comments, upvotes and the awards. Thank you. I'm glad people can relate to Meowth's wisdom, as well as my messages about the world. All the best to you all. Saw a really good Pepsi commercial. El Mayu. I was around 12 when I realized that they're just as human as I am and don't deserve to be treated unfairly because of a different skin color. Fought tooth and nail with my mom many times on that after that. Edit. If someone from TikTok is looking through here for content and decides to use this comment, please blur or crop out my username. Appreciate that fam. I had this white woman tell me that while I was a seemingly nice guy, I was still destined to burn in hell because I'm black. I'm not effing joking. It was the weirdest experience of my life. And I'm Floridian. Joke's on her though. I'm going to burn in hell because I'm a sinner. Lol. Sorry to hear you had an experience like that, but I definitely believe you. That sounds like something my mom would say. Not racist but homophobic, just raised that way and did not know any different. 
In college I got to know a few LGB people and one day just realized I did not give a single flying F what people did sexually. How does this even remotely impact me in my life? Do no harm to others. LGBT people are not harming anyone else simply by being LGBT. Just recently actually. I always thought this race was simple-minded and sometimes outright idiotic. But as a F1 fan I finally gave NASCAR a try and realized that it's not all just left turns and crashes. I now find NASCAR very enjoyable to watch. Edit. Wow lol. This comment blew up. Thank you to everyone and for all the awards. Thank you for watching. We upload new videos every day, so be sure to come back for more fun. Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed the video.